Geneva Zoltek with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Well, a lot of kiddos are getting ready to go back to school. So if you head to Julia Davis today or if you're out doing shopping, it's really hot out there. So you're going to want to be careful today. So back to school shopping in the heat today. Monsoonal weather in the mix, not really impacting Treasure Valley, but a cool down is on the way later this week. I'm going to talk about that and show you my full extended forecast, but let's talk about that heat. So the temperatures right now are, are already on the warmer side in some of our areas, 72 in Boise, 70 down south there in Glens Ferry, but other areas are looking at the 60s, 40s and 50s at the moment. Of course, we're all going to warm up today and be on an even playing field. High elevation, seeing temperatures getting all the way back up into the 90s, except for Ketchum, looking at a high of 89 degrees today, 98 in Idaho City, but along that I 84 corridor. What month is it again? Okay, well, we are warming back up 104 degrees there in Glens Ferry, 102 in Boise. Now let's talk about heat index. This is what the body temperature feels like relative to the humidity outside and the temperatures. And actually our heat index is going to be pretty high because it's actually a little bit humid out there. So we want to use extreme caution today because really around noon, the heat index gets, gets to around 90 in Boise. That's when it starts to get dangerous for the body to be outside for a long time. And then that heat index warms all the way up to the mid 90s here by the afternoon and evening. So we're going to continue to use that extreme caution from around 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. today when those heat index levels get to their highest. But again, after that 8, 9 p.m., we start to see that heat relax as we cool down for those overnight temperatures. So dangerous heat on deck for today. We're expecting that heat to stick around with us tomorrow. So a heat advisory is in effect through tomorrow afternoon and evening, uh, including that I-84 corridor up towards the West Central Mountains, Owyhee County, and really all of Oregon is under extreme heat for today into tomorrow. Now, to give you some perspective of where we should be this time of year, we're looking at normal temperatures from around 91, cooling down to 88 over the next 10 days, but we're really going to fluctuate mostly above that level. So we are looking at above average temperatures over the next 10 days. Looks like we'll get a little bit of a dip though as we move towards the weekend. Now we are going to see a little bit of monsoonal weather in the mix today. Some expected showers happening here along the Idaho Nevada border. Uh, very isolated, 5 to 10 percent chance of precipitation. So we really don't have to worry about that. But it is going to be, be cloudier this afternoon and evening, uh, which will give us some result, uh, some uh, relief from the heat. Monsoonal weather expected to return into tomorrow evening as well. So walking through that regional forecast, the heat advisory in effect for the Treasure Valley today highs in the triple digits. Can you believe it? We are back up here in the heat. Very hot today in Riggins, a high of 107. McCall 91, 88 in Cascade. Better place to be in the mountains today for sure. We're looking at 87 in Sun Valley, 92 in Haley, mostly sunny conditions. And the Ma uh, Magic Valley, we're going to see some increasing cloud cover as that monsoonal weather really ramps up in the afternoon and evening. Not a huge percentile, not a huge chance of active weather, but we do see some more cloud cover. Over the coming days here in the Magic Valley, we're going to stick to those mid to upper 90s, cooling down Friday into Saturday. Look at that, 89 by Saturday, 85 Sunday, 77 Monday, Treasure Valley, really quickly, I'll show you that. We are going to be hot into the triple digits the next few days, cooling back down to the 90s and even 80s into next week. Coming up next, a grim.